prediction is not easy. Man, right? it's not, it's man. Easy. <laughs> right. Your job is tough, man. My job. You play against Theo, right? Yeah. A lot of people are talking about their defense. Yeah. Everybody was like questioning about their defense. But when you on the court, what do you do about their defense? Uh. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're on the court, you play against them. Yeah. What's up, school fans, and welcome to the IBL playoff prediction video. And right here, right now, we got my boy, my brother, Michael oh, Kola Wale. How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. Thank you for having me. He's Thank done with the me. season, so he can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it is same, right? For sure, yeah. <laughs> And you know, a lot of people are probably gonna watch this video now. Man, I, I hope they tune in, man, and, <laughs> and you know, get a, a bit of is, insight before the playoffs, mm -hmm. you know, and things that we had to go through this season. Yeah. So, so yeah. Because it's in English. For it. It's in English. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's not personal. <laughs> it's not personal, you know. Yeah. Uh, we're basketball lovers, yeah. so we uh, have a, a niche for walk, watching the game. You know, uh, IQ wise, uh, player personnel, team personnel. So it should be fun. Should be it should fun. be fun. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank yeah. you for having me. And getting me, that bro. fresh cut. You know, <laughs> you know, shout out to Edo, <laughs> Bray Studio. That's nice, though. That's a nice cut. Appreciate you. Feel like back home. So. <laughs> before, we, before we dive into the IBL playoff, you know, talk about your season a little bit. Um, obviously, a very unique season and very situation. Unique. Yeah. Uh, you came in in the middle of the season. You had three coaches in the span of four weeks. You told me, yeah. and of course, uh, you guys just fall short of the playoff. But was this like the toughest season of your career? Um, first of all, I want to say all, all respect to all three coaches. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I know how tough it could be to transition like that, but it was the toughest season I've ever had as a basketball player mm. um, as far as coaching wise um, just having getting uh, different coaching perspectives different game schemes and they're all different you know different people so um, having those three different coaches in four weeks was definitely the, the toughest year basketball wise for me did they give you like different roles um, yeah I would say they gave me a, a bit more different roles mm. uh, Coach Badu and Coach Bum pretty much had the same role for me, mm -hmm. um, being the lead guard, uh, controlling the tempo, uh, running in transition. Coach Wahoo kind of wanted me to play off the ball a bit more um, to relieve some stress for myself. Um, and, um, you know, um, so yeah, it was kind of just different roles for all three of them. And you part. started with Zoran and Ronald, and then yeah. you ended up with Thomas and Ann. Yeah. You were the only one staying. Was it like, <laughs> as a player, like as an import player, was it like hard to adjust to new, like partners? Mm -hmm. Um, I wouldn't say so. Mm -hmm. You know, as a point guard, um, communication is everything. You know, so just getting to know them personnel-wise, um, shoot what they like to do off the court, mm -hmm. kind of helps that uh, chemistry on the court. Um, great guys. You know, uh, Ronald and Z were great players as well. Um, but, you know, as we know, situations is everything in this game and opportunity. So, um, so yeah, Thomas and AJ, you know, they, uh, we all, I feel like we all, we felt like we came a bit too late, you know, so those are great, great guys, um, better players. And, um, and yeah, it was just not enough time to have it all click. And now the IBL, you see like a lot of players, import players, especially like come and go. You yeah. know, as an import player, like you see all these players just like laugh, you know, uh, teams just release them. Was yeah. it like more pressure this season for you to perform? <laughs> when you I see mean, that? I feel like imports come to a country or to a season knowing mm -hmm. that we're on a, a short leash with everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I will say the IBL made a lot of changes mm -hmm. uh, as far as team wise. And that, you know, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that does add a, a little bit of pressure, you know, here and there, you know, uh, if you're in a shooting funk or whatever the case may be, um, you just have to fight for that consistency, that consistency and um, just be like, uh, you know, personable throughout your team, you know, get along with the locals, the, uh, you know, the, um, the coaches, the fans, and I think you'll be fine if you stay consistent and you, you know, you do those things, but, but yeah, added pressure a bit. Um, as as we know, the league is getting better and stronger. So, um, so yeah, it kind of added a little heat to <laughs> heat to some guys. 
<laughs> it's always different, right? I think you were here like four years ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just way different. Uh, I was in 2019, 2020 20. season. So uh, yeah. I think the import, the the level of imports right now is like at its best as it's yeah. ever been. I think. And for you, who was the toughest matchup of the season for you? The toughest matchup. Um, I wish I got to play against all the guards, mm -hmm. um, point guard, combo guards in the league. But I would say um, respect, respectfully, mm -hmm. um, probably Brandon. Brandon Francis. Yeah. Oh, that was your last game. Yeah, my last game. It was, it was very exciting. Um, you know, uh, he's a, a, we play, we, have, we don't have too much similar games. Mm -hmm. He has maybe a slower paced game than mine, but um, he, he gets to the foul line. You know, I think that's very important um, in this league and in, in general as a guard, if you can uh, draw fouls. So, um, you know, respect to him and his game. And um, I think, I, again, I didn't get to play against uh, the other great uh, players in this league. But um, but I think um, me and uh, Bean would have been a good matchup as well. You oh, know? Bean, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would say those two probably. Did Brandon yeah. say something in Spanish to you? Um, <laughs> man, that game was so physical and fun. Uh, Cause he had a triple double, right? Yeah, that game, 27, 11, and 11. Yeah, he did. No, we was just talking, you know, talking trash. Um, you know, it's mutual respect, respect there. But um, but now nah, it was an exciting game. We both talk, so I was doing more talking uh, as to encourage my team, and he uses that to amp himself up, which. You know, all great trash talkers, all, you know, they have that thing where you have to psych yourself out. So, um, so yeah, you know. You know, you just talk trash to Brandon. He played better, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of play, like me too. Like, you know, uh, I think, you know, I had a pretty good game that game. I had maybe a 24 and 8. Um, we didn't get the win, but, um, but I love those type of environments. Like, it reminds me of back home. It reminds me of uh, just the uh, the crowd, the intensity, and I love physical games like that. So it was it was fun. But to be honest, though, who is the biggest trash talker, man? <laughs> the biggest trash talker <laughs> this season. Let me see. I would say, I would say Mike. Mike Qualls. Mike Qualls, no. And Steven Taylor. Oh, no, no. That two. duo. <laughs> <laughs> they can't stop yeah. dancing, bro. They're just flexing. They be, <laughs> hey, they have, they have some fun. They have some fun, but I think those are the biggest trash talkers. Them, them two and Francis are the biggest trash. I'll throw myself in that, in that group, too. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I just like the energy and passion. It's just, it comes with it. You know, the court, you're able to. Be yourself, be free, say what's on your mind, and and get yourself going, get your teammates going. So I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But Quas and Steve, they just like very entertaining, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they very entertaining. Two different games, but they complement each other. So, you know, so hats off to them for real. Uh, well, do you know them personally, though? Steve and Quas? Um, uh, I know Steve, uh, he's from Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, I went to UIC. Um, in Chicago, so we know the same people. Okay. Um, you know, Qualls, I think I went to um, uh, college with his wife. Okay. Yeah, uh, Vaughn, when I was yeah. a freshman, she was a senior, so like little bro. Like, she was a baller sense. too. Yeah, she was hooping. Yeah. She, she can hoop. She was hooping back then, so um, just res ultimate respect for them and um, where they come from. They, they come from basketball uh, state, so. So yeah, I don't know them personally, mm -hmm. but do basketball, you know, small world. It's a very small world, right? Yeah. What yeah. do you enjoy the most though about playing in the IBL? I want to know that. I think I enjoy the fans, to be mm -hmm. honest. It's it's nothing but love, and it, it makes you um, just appreciative and grateful to even play the game and have an impact to inspire. Mm -hmm. I think that's most important, um, and that's my favorite part. Like they show love, and I I love them back. You know, I show love in return. You know, so. Um, I think it's the fans for me. And a lot of changes. And before we talk to the about the playoff, I would like to know from the players' perspective, it's different now. It used mm -hmm. to be a series, right? Okay. I mean, it used to be like in one city, right. you play like five, uh, four or five games in that city. Yeah. Now you got to travel from city to city. Yeah. Is, it, is that much different? I think, I think it is, Rock. I think um, it's a, a best of both worlds in mm -hmm. a way. Because when we did the series where 
we start Thursday and Sunday mm -hmm. and all the teams are in one city. Mm -hmm. I think it, it allows the fans to prepare to watch all the teams. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's uh, maybe fans that are less fortunate than others that can't really travel to see their favorite team play. Mm -hmm. So I think that how that was orchestrated was a good format, but mm -hmm. also the format, the home and away travel, I, I like that as well. You know, it gives um, the city a sense of, different cities a sense of pride in, um, in their team and, and where they come from. And I think, you know, um, by next year, it will kind of grow more as far as the fans in each city, because, you know, the level of the teams kind of dictate how many fans come to the game. So, um, so yeah, I think it's 50-50 with me. I think it's 50, because I enjoyed the, the all the teams in one city for the weekend, you know, because it was it was packed all the games, and you know, I think all the all the players like love to play in that type of environment. All right, we're gonna take a break first. Okay. Prayers. Yeah, for sure. Welcome back. For the, <laughs> Welcome back. For yes. the culture. For the culture, <laughs> take you, Mike. <laughs> but yeah, we we ended up at talking about the home and away. Let's talk about the playoff. It's gonna be okay. fun. Playoff gonna start tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, KBS again, SM, and then Runs and uh, Prawira in the opening day. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna talk from the first seat. They okay. were united. Uh, best record of the season, 22 and 4. Number one in scoring. Uh, number one in three point percentage, assists per game as well. Um, pretty complete team. They're gonna play against Borneo in the mm -hmm. first round. Do you see um, Borneo has the chance to compete against Dewa? I I think it'll be a good game, mm -hmm. um, but they was just too strong for, mm -hmm. for Bernio. I think they Bernio had a, just a great run from starting 0-7 to 11-15, um, so shout out to them. But again, when they was being consistent with their productivity, with their team camaraderie, mm -hmm. and um, great coach too, so I think um, I think they was going to yeah. get that one. They was the only team that... I think did not change anything. The whole season, yeah. the whole season, they stayed with the same players, same imports. Do you think that's gonna play a role though in the playoff? Yeah, for sure. You know, you're you're looking over to your guy to your left and to your right, and he's been there, for, you know, since the start of the season. So, um, you know, strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. They're they're very deep um, as far as their local players, and um, I think they'll continue to. Uh, um, play with that chemistry to get them over the first round. Because Jordan, Galvis, the yeah. Barrio, they have yeah. to stay here for six months, right? As, a, as an import, when you, yeah. this is pretty long, right? Yeah. Pretty long season, right, IBL? As an import, do you get bored when you stay in like one country for a long time? Uh, it, it just depends, like what type of person, mm -hmm. you know, every, everyone's different, but if you can get acclimated, to your environment, to the, whether it be the food, the, the nightlife, mm -hmm. um, um, just the, the culture, then it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. But if you're a guy who just, who's just boring, who just stay in the apartment, and you might get pretty bored, you know, and it might get tiring. But, um, but yeah, I think those guys should be, you know, should be cool. It's not too far from Jakarta, so, mm -hmm. so yeah. You play against Theo, right? Yeah. A lot of people are talking about their defense. Yeah. Everybody was like questioning about their defense. But when you on the court, what do you do about their defense? Uh you on the court, you play against them. Yeah. You play against yeah, them. They're, you know, I, I think, you know, their defense, you know, I th I just think they just don't play with uh just the extra maybe uh what's the right word? Uh multiple efforts on defense. Okay. You know, I think um as individuals, yes, they can play defense, mm -hmm. but um, as far as help side and things like that, I feel like they could be uh, stronger in that in that sense. So, so yeah, um, you know, uh, for example, Rio DC, yeah. he's a great on-ball defender. Um, uh, what's number two's name? Left number Hardianos. Hardianos, he'll yeah. get up under you. Mm -hmm. um, good defender as well, but it, I think it'll depend on their their backside and their help defense, um, considering Borneo likes to throw lobs mm -hmm. to Qualls and, um, you know, uh, Steve Taylor, he, he's good in the mid post area. So him and Lester will be a good matchup to watch. So I think it'll be a good series, but 
think they was gonna take it. Yeah, Qual's yeah. been on fire though. I think last two games, he's been like 29 points per game. Yeah. Uh, last time against probably like 35, 35 and 20. <laughs> yeah. Bro, do you expect like Qual go for 40, bro? <laughs> hey, he, he might have to. You know, he definitely yeah. might have to. Um, you know, Bernio needs him to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as their coach does the right thing and, and, you know, doesn't pull him out if he doesn't have to, then I think Qualls can stay in the rhythm, stay aggressive, and, um, you know, do his thing. You know, they may catch a game. Catch a game? Yeah, they may but catch one game. If they want to catch a game, probably Jamar. Needs to score a lot, though. <laughs> I think so, too. He's he's probably the X factor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like you said, last game, mm -hmm. um, he may not have played the best, mm -hmm. but um, I think uh, he, he is the X factor. Being naturalized and having that extra guy on the court that has, a, you know, strength as well. Um, you know, yeah, just had to produce. You know, mm -hmm. it, basketball doesn't have no age, yeah. no skin color, no anything. So that's the beauty of our game is, um, you know, you just have to produce at the end of the day. Yeah, because the local needs to produce too. Last yeah. game, we got 11 points, bro. Yeah. You're not going to win, like, you're not going to win, right? Without the locals, right? Yeah. Um, again, it's a team effort in every, in, every, in every way you see it from the locals and imports, putting it together is usually the best team teams that's able to do that and have a balance in the scoring ratio from locals to imports uh it's pretty a, a good team so but everyone has to give something that's that's my thing like you know as imports we're gonna come in and have a a, a certain level of expectations mm -hmm. given on us and the locals as well you know um, local coaches are very hard on on the players but Everyone has to give something. Whether you're a defensive stopper or a scorer, if you're five points per game, we need you to do that every game. You know, so I think um, just being consistent is huge in this playoff run for anybody, any team in it. I need my boy Chrysler to step up. Chrysler, come on, man, hit Which some threes. Which one is that? Number eleven. For who? From Borneo. Okay. He okay. is a shooter. Yeah. You know, he, he needs to step up. He could be the X factor in this. He played for Hong Tuo. No, no, what? he didn't play, he played for one. Pacific okay. back then. Yeah, so okay. hopefully he could, you know, step it up for Borneo. Yeah, they need you, Chrysler. They need you, man. Lock <laughs> yeah, in. Lock in. 2-0, 2-1 for Dewa. I'm going to go 2-1. Okay. Yeah. I Ooh, think they're going to steal one. Yeah, I think Borneo will steal one. I'm yeah. going. I'm going with the sweep. Yeah, sweep? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> for me. Oh no, I think I think I think I don't think Akeem uh is gonna allow that. You know, Akeem's a great leader, um, two way player, two way point guard and quals and their mentality, they won't get they, I don't think they'll get swept. Akeem never guess. missed the playoff though. That's impressive. At his age, he's still going healthy. And um, yeah, I don't think he's gonna allow that. Well, for, 41. Can you 50 or 41, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I, to be honest, I didn't know he was 41 until like two weeks ago. For real? Yeah, you know, straight up. I, I thought he was like 38, no. 35, but someone was like, nah, you know he's 40, he's 40, like 41. I'm like, get that, get out of here, man. This guy going coast to coast, <laughs> dribbling that thing. I'm like, you know, so shout out to Akeem, man. Um, all respect, taking care of his body, being a pro, you know. Yeah. But I think, yeah, his he's, mentality is, is going to be key. He's the ultimate pro, though. You know, he's yeah. like working like four times a week, uh, four, four times a day. That shit crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even see young guys doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough, that's man. That's tough. All right, so let's move, to, let's move on to Plita Jaya against Bali United. Uh, they played like I think la two weeks ago in Bali. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, PJ won that game. Mm -hmm. uh, KJ and Dicky uh, destroyed them in the paint area. Bro, Dicky and KJ, his they are super strong, bro. Yeah. Like, can you contain them? That's in a the that's paint a strong area? that's a strong. Front Especially court. Bali is undersized. Yeah, you know? um, that series. I'm gonna go with a sweep. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think PJ will sweep them. Um, they, Bali just doesn't have enough pieces. They don't have the experience. Um, and yeah, I just think PJ is too much for Bali right now. Like you said, uh, KJ, he's gonna enforce his way on the, on the glass. 
um, paint touches. Uh, you have Bean, he's gonna get in the paint. Um, you have Jawado, who's gonna knock down shots. Reza, who's gonna knock down shots. Uh, what's what point guard named Prowl? Pross. Pross style. Pross style is gonna knock down shots. So, um, so yeah, even the young ones on the bench, you know. So I think uh, PJ has that experience for yeah. sure. PJ blew them out in the first game, thirty-eight points. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's three zero. <laughs> it's three zero. Two zero. Two zero. Two zero. Yeah. Uh, Justin Brownlee, though, we got to talk about Justin Brownlee uh, yeah. coming back from the Olympic qualifiers, mm -hmm. uh, traveling from Latvia, Philippines, now Indonesia. Yeah. A lot of players in and out. KJ was hurt, you know, Bin was hurt, mm -hmm. so in and out of the lineup. Do you think that's going to have an effect, though, in the playoff with yeah. players coming up in and out of mm -hmm. the lineups? For, are you talking about for, for everyone or Pelic Okay. Yeah. I think, um, they uh, built such a great uh, chemistry amongst each other that um, this may have been talked about before the season, you know, so they're aware of it. And um, again, I think um, I think it won't be too hard for them to get acclimated. However, they switch the lineups, um, knowing personnel, who they're guarding is probably key. But knowing, um, you know, who works well together, you know, um, I think they'll they'll figure it out. Bro, yeah, Brownlee just played out. Latvia, bro, and yeah, Georgia. He, Coming he back to the IV, he'd be like, cool. Yeah, <laughs> he, he definitely gonna need a, you know, an IV, you yeah. know, IV, a couple of IV waters, and yeah. but um, let me drop know. thirty, bro. Like, you know, he, he got forty eight against Georgia. Hey, he you may know? have to because <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, strength in numbers. Yeah. You know, they have their very their depth is is key, and I think Brownlee will come in and do what he does. Um, uh, until he gets his feet yeah. back under him from the jet lag and travel yeah. and playing, but I think uh, I think they'll be fine. They'll be fine, man. They got yeah. like six, seven days, man, before the game in Bali. You yeah. know. They when does he come in? He comes. In I soon? think probably coming this week. Oh, probably, okay. You know, they say they told me they're gonna he gonna come in like around today or tomorrow. Okay. But we'll nice. see though if my insight is right. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm scared he's gonna be late. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we got the sweep, right, for Bali. Yeah, that's going to be zero. Sorry, Coach Tony. I love you, Coach Tony. I know you're going to talk shit when you see me. Respect, Coach, <laughs> Coach Tony. Tony. Yeah, Coach Tony is unbelievable, though. You know, with yeah. just with the squad that he has, you know, with Cairo, sure. with Xavier Canifax, with, mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, I forgot this guy there. <laughs> the other yeah. guy name, but, but, and with Abraham Wernas, Sur yep. Suryani. Man, I can't even remember the other guy name, the other import name. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but um, with the squad that he yeah. has, you know, he's still number seven yeah. in the league. No, I think shout out to Coach Tony. You know, he, he did a great job with those guys. Um, they played extremely hard when we played them. So um, always have respect for Coach Tony. Yeah, he's yeah. very one of the best coaches in the IBL to me. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to Prairie against Rons. Rons, big news. Defon Van Ustrum reportedly. It's his out of game one because of a fractured hand. So Ron's gonna play with uh, without him in game one. Um, but we're gonna see if you know uh, Gusnanta, Januar, even Kenny Funderbreak. I think he's probably gonna play like a lot of one mm -hmm. also uh, in, in that game. But Prawira against Ron is this gonna be the best matchup in the first round? I think it's a great first round match. Honestly, mm -hmm. honestly, I think if uh, Devin was uh, playing, mm -hmm. it would be even better uh, what he gives to the game with his passing and facilitating. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to go with uh, Prawera 2 1. Or 2 1. 2 1? Yeah. Okay. Prawera 2 1. Russ uh, going to get game one? They might. They could sneak game one. Because they're playing you know? at home. Game one. They're right. playing at home. Russ. They could sneak game one. You know, Prawera just went on a, a road trip, I believe. Yeah. What, six games and eight. Something, 15 yeah, days. Yeah, 15 like days. That. So, um, I think eight Ron's... Eight games in 15 days. Eight, sorry, eight games in 15 days. Different that's, cities, too. That's tough, you know. So, I think uh, even they just played the other night. Yeah, they had to play the made-up made up game from Solo right. yesterday. And they have to travel again to Bobo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think, uh, I think Ron's might pull this first one out. But uh, Coach Singleton from Pro River is a great coach. <clears throat> so, I know he has a game plan ahead. That'll uh, put them over that 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 hedge to to get two games. 
I mean, yeah, your boy is playing for runs. LeBron. Yeah. Cash Shout out Dallas. to LB. <laughs> Shout out to LB. You know, he had a, he's having a great season. Great MVP season. MVP nominee. MVP nominee. Dallas. Stand up. 43 points, bro, against BPJ. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is about runs. They got to make their free throws. Yeah. Like LB and Kenny, they miss nine free throw each in one game. Was that the game? Against BPJ. That was when LB could have 50. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He could have, he could have one my, my guy, he going <laughs> to, hey, knock it down, man. Do you. You got, you got it. But, um, bro, but yeah, miss, they got to make free yeah, throws. Yeah, if you miss 18 free throws, you're not going to win in the playoff. Yeah. Definitely. Against Pravira. Yeah. You got you to gotta maximize your your opportunities. <laughs> yeah. and then, But but actually, uh, Rats is on a very good streak right now. They, they are Definitely. winning four games in a row, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but they and they're gonna have John Fields back, the big man in the middle, okay. veterans. Uh, he's been, I think, he just won a championship in Taiwan, and okay. of course, you know, That's he nice. played in the ABL as well. So I could see him as a, a big factor in the mm -hmm. series. But we gotta know a man is Suarez, though. You played against him in the last game, yeah, I did. Uh, he played only four games with Pravira, averaging 16.5 points per game and 8.5 rebounds per game. 52% shooting from the field. How impressed were you with Manny Suarez? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, he's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not a dominant player, I don't think. Um, averaging 17, basically 17 yeah. in, in nine in the first four games. Um, I would assume he's acclimated now. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would just say, don't believe the hype. You know, a lot of guys, some guys come in with a name from mm -hmm. this league or that league, but when you see them close up, they're not, you know, what it seemed to be. So I've always been that type of person that you got to show me, mm -hmm. you know, show me because I don't care what they said, I don't care what you did, I don't care. Like we're on the court and like let's let's hoop, you know. So. Um, again, no disrespect, but he just, he just, you know, it's another player, you know, I wasn't too moved by anything. Man, you better show him in the playoffs. <laughs> show show him. me, Manny. Yeah, Manny, come on, Show man. me, man. Go hoop, go hoop. Be a dog. Yeah, but, you know, uh, after Manny came, uh, I feel like Hester, Hester, big Hester actually playing better. Yeah. Um, averaging almost 22 points and, of course, almost 10 rebounds per game. Do you see that Hassan like has more? Because Manny is a stretch mm, five, right. I think, right? He's a stretch five, so he could shoot the threes as well. Yeah. Do you think that Hester has more room inside when they play against you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. Uh, having Manny and Hess on the court, yeah. it uh, it spread the floor out for for them to for driving lanes, kick out opportunities, and room for Hess to operate mm -hmm. and get to get to the basket. So, uh, shout out to Hess. You know, great. You know great player you know very physical down there gets a lot of calls um gets to the free throw line so it's always good to play alongside a player like that but you don't want to play against him because he's like man he get he get every call he gets yeah. he go to the line more than my team yeah. <laughs> you know so um but yeah i think uh manny really spreads the floor out with his shooting um and his versatility right so um uh, the floor, the spacing wouldn't be that way if it wasn't for Manny. So, again, shout out to him, you know, being that uh, versatile, versatile big that uh, Pereira is needing. Yeah. But you said the local players are good too, right, Pereira? Man, yeah, they have Pandu, yeah. Yude. Yeah, and, uh, and Falcone had 14 and 8 against you. Which one is the that? The big guy. Oh, I forgot num what's his, what number. But the which tall one? guy, the shooter, from, I think mid range too. From what team? From Pereira. Falcone. Oh, you know, Falcone. local. Yeah. Local, he got 14 and 8 against you. Yeah, so, yeah. So they have a lot of pieces, yeah. man. Number 13. Yeah, number Ooh. 13, Hans. Shooter. What's his number 13? Yeah, yeah. Hans. Shooter. Yeah, yeah. So they have a lot of great pieces. And yeah. as long as they keep hitting open shots, I think Pereira will be, I think they'll be fine. And since Brandon came to Indonesia, yeah. back to the IBL, <clears throat> 19 and 2. Probably right. Yeah. 19 and 2. That is it's great. impressive. Impressive, bro. Yeah. Should be in the MVP nominee. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. It. 
<laughs> that list, man. Yeah, that list. Though. It's gotta be long. I'm talking to you talk about that. Man. Right, you got the you got probably two and two one? Yeah, I got probably two and one. I wanna go with two one two. Just to make yeah. it fun. Yeah. You know, three games is gonna be fun. You it's know? gonna be fun. Yeah. Last one. KBS against Satria Muda. Satria Muda since Jobel, 12 and 1. Mm. 10 game winning streak. You know, upgraded yep. all their imports with yeah. these players from ACB and of course from B1 as well. Ronaldo, Artem, and Cook. Yeah, man, how good is Satra Muda now, man? Satra Muda very strong right now, yeah. very strong. But uh, I think actually, I think this game <clears throat> would be a great matchup, matchup wise. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Gettys will be able to guard um, Artem. Artem. Um, Kentrell. Kentrell will be able to guard. He's versatile. He'll be able to guard Cook a little bit. Yeah. At least uh, size wise, they match up. Um, the new guy from Solo. Yeah. Um, Travin. Yeah. So I think uh, this matchup wise, this will be a good um, a good series. But I think it'll lead to the the locals on yeah. Solo. You know, because they're 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 good players. You know, you have Kevin Moses. Yeah. You have. Um, What's number three? Uh, Nuka. Nuka. We got Andre. Uh, yeah. Eleven. Yeah. They had a player who just got hurt. Yeah. Unfortunately. Devin. It was Devin. An ankle. Local player. I think Devin. Yeah. I think it was Devin. Samuel Devin. Yeah, yeah. but I think SM is gonna take this three three zero. Two, bro. It's oh, sorry, three. sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I think SM is gonna get this two zero, okay. uh, just solely because, you know, they're the. They're just a seasoned team. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of vets on their team. Um, everybody knows their role, um, and they win. You know, like Arky, he was a five-time champ. Yeah. You know, hats off, salute to Arky. Um, and they just have uh, uh, who? Abraham. Abraham. Ooh. Abraham. 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 He's in. Uh, He's an import, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he basically a local MVP runner. Yeah. You know, in the running. So yeah. I think. Um, they play hard, they have grit, and you know, shout out to coach, um, you Bell. Yeah, Yo Bell. You know, he came in and he's 12 and one since being here, so uh, I think they're, they're all, you know, they'll take it 2 0. I just really hope that Ken Crowell is good enough to go. Because okay. he got hurt last night. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's okay. Uh, I, I bet if you're a player, yeah. if it, it's a playoff, you're gonna play with one leg, right? Right. It doesn't matter, right? Right. You gotta yeah. go. That um that is just no it's no better time in the season so hopefully he's okay um, prayers out to Contrell but um but yeah that's gonna be uh, uh, a bummer for Solo yeah and Solo is not playing really well right now because four game losing streak yeah. they're shooting thirty out of one hundred twenty four or twenty four percent from threes so that's gonna be yeah that's tough you gotta be able to knock it down. You gotta be able to knock it you down. Get, they gotta be consistent. And yeah. they gave up 52 offensive <laughs> rebounds in four games. So they gotta box out. They got to. Yeah. Because <laughs> SM, you know, they gonna crash. They gonna they crash. crash. They gonna crash. They gonna crash. So you got SM 2 0. Yep. I think if Cantrell is playing with one leg, I gotta go with SM 2 0 as well. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, no disrespect to Travin, though. I think Travin is nice. Uh, 19 points per game in yep. his first three games. But how hard it is, though, to come in in the last three games? It's very you know? hard, yeah, to get acclimated to your teammates, yeah. the system, um, and just living out here. You yeah. know, your body is adjusting. So, um, so yeah, just maybe not enough time for him to get that chemistry. But he's a good player. He's a good player. Yeah. First all first team, I think, in the BCL. So yeah, he must efficient. Be really good. Yeah, efficient. Yeah. He could move, but just not enough time, you know, to gel with the team, I think. So. Yeah. So now let's move to the semifinals. Okay, okay. It's gonna be Plito Jaya against Prao here, bro. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's gonna, gonna be tough. tough. Oh my that's God. gonna be tough. <laughs> Brendan Francis, yeah. oh, gonna talk his shit. That's gonna be tough. You know he gonna talk. Yeah. Uh, but you know uh, that's gonna be tough. But it's tough though. It's one one though. Season series is one one. But in the yeah. when Prao Hira won, uh, they had no KJ. They had no Bean. They were uh, injured. Oh, so, yeah. those that's big. Uh, yeah, 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 that's a big factor. Um, I'm gonna go, especially if Brownlee comes back. I may have to go 2 0. 2 0? 2 0 PJ. Oh. I'm just saying, because it's like a lot of pieces, you had to factor these in. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have to. 
that uh but all respect to Pereira though yeah. they t they got a, a dub against well, a top team in the league that's huge but you know with Brownlee coming back with being healthy with KJ healthy you can't under under estimate their productivity when they play and um just their tenacity you know as a team as a collective um again the locals the, the team actually matches up yeah. you know but i think pj has a little more firepower than Parrera, but that's definitely gonna be a great matchup it's gonna be i say it's gonna be three games three games <laughs> I just, yeah i just can't i can pick, see that i just can't pick who's gonna win though <laughs> I can see 2-1, PJ. I can see 2-0, yeah. you know, because, again, factoring those guys in, you know, and the schedule that Pereira has yeah. had lately, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Oh. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how that, how that plays out. I, I just got to go. I, 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 I love you, Brandon. What you think, Rob? I love you, Brandon. <laughs> I love you. Dude, you're my brother, bro, but I got to go with PJ. Just, I think... I think Bean and Waddle is going to be the X factor. X factor, yeah. I think, you know, with Bean and Waddle on the court, same time. Yeah, it's tough, just man. Just too and, much, man. And um, shout out to B, but, yeah. you know, um, they're going to have different guys on him. He's yeah. going to get different looks. So, you know, he's going to get a guard in full court. Then another guy, Bean, might come yeah. in with full energy, guard him and, you know, wearing him out. So um, I just think it'll be tough on uh, Pereira's depth. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get to get Dicky off the paint too. Dicky is so yeah. active, bro. He's you know, on the glass. Yeah, on the glass. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to keep keep him off the glass, man. Yeah. He's like very <laughs> fast. It's just like he could. He, he was guarding. I'll be honest. He was guarding Artem really good. Yeah. No, Actually, I watched man. the game. Yeah. He. I watched the game. Yeah. I'll just say that. You yeah. know, he was running the floor, yeah. blocking shots, rebounding, and you know, you always want to play with a big like that. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, him versus Manny, I'm going to take Dickie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. PJ 2 1. So, yeah, PJ going to the too finals. Much. Yeah. Yeah. So, now, such fair with that against Zewa United. You got Ronaldo, you got Solano, you got Lester, you got, oh my Man. God. You're playing against Ronaldo, right? Yeah. How fast is that guy, man? Is he like the Panther for real? <laughs> I, I really, to be honest, I, I really think, uh, m modestly saying myself, Ronaldo and Canafa, I think mm -hmm. we're in being, we're like the fastest mm -hmm. guards in the league. But playing against like someone like Ronaldo, mm -hmm. it didn't seem like he was going that fast to me. But his ability to get to the basket, you then see. Okay, this guy's going at a speed that is different than others on the court right now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's pretty fast. I would say he can get to the rack. You know, uh, oh, he just knows how to change speed, huh? Yeah, he does. You know, and that's that's some pace is, is so important in this game. Um, so, but also Solano's is he's a good defender as well. So that point guard matchup, it, right? That's going to be something to watch, man. Yeah, and, and Jordan Adams against Ken, uh, against Justin Brownlee? Yeah, Ooh. that's going to be that's gonna be something to watch. You know, Brownlee's versatile. Uh, he has the size yeah. uh, advantage against um, Jordan Adams. Adams. Yeah, but uh, Adams can shoot that thing. Three-point champion. Catch high, keep yeah. high. He, he ready. He, he going to knock it down if given any space. So... Um, it's gonna be a fun, a fun series. That's gonna be a fun series. But um, you got SM. I think I got. I think I got SM. I think I got SM. I'm only saying that because uh, if you look at again the locals for SM and you look at the locals for for Dewa, mm -hmm. but all good players, right? Progressing. Mm -hmm. The young guys from Dewa are, are growing. Um, but when you have that winning pedigree. You know, that culture yeah. and they was just building their culture, you know, so hats off to them, you know, but I think it, I think it'll be 2-1. I think it'll go to three games yeah. and 2-1 SM. I'm going to go with that. <sighs> Lester versus who? The tall guy from Artem. Artem, Artem, Artem. Yeah. Lester versus Artem is going to be a good matchup. You know, Lester is a force on the outside and inside. He's going to bring Artem out the paint. So that'll be key. Honestly, that'll be key. Wait, you gotta take yeah. him out. The pain. Wait a minute. We may have got something here. Man. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know about that one. I gotta go with that same still. I think he just 
I think it just ah. with Abraham, with Ronaldo, with Cook. Yeah. It just. I think it's gonna be. I, I think it's gonna be a close one. Maybe game three is gonna be like a two point game decided by yeah. the last shot. I don't decided know. Decided by the last shot. Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna go with SM, but yeah. no disrespect to Dewa, yeah, yeah. cause that's that was solid. Bro. They're solid, solid, and like I, like like we just said, like Lester bringing Artem out the paint yeah. opens up so much Gosh. for Solano's dribble yeah. drive kick out at like Adams. You know, yeah. so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good series. But I'm gonna go I'm gonna go SM yeah. though two one. It's tough, right? Yeah. This prediction is not easy. Man, right? it's not, man. <laughs> Right, your job is tough, man. My job is tough, and then when when the players saw this, they always say, "Right, hey, right, hey. Why, 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 why do you say that?" You know? Hey, just be easy, yeah. you know? Because yeah. I was we, saying last time, like, needs to play better defense, right? And then Lester came to yeah. me, like, well, "I'll watch you, bro." You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. He said, it's it's okay. all love, it's man. All love, it's for the love of the game. Yeah. It's for the culture. Yeah, it's for the culture. To, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make you play better, <laughs> last, you know? Play better defense, you know? Man. <laughs> but I'm the players are watching this though, so yeah, for you know, sure, it's all love, they need guys. to tune in, man. Yeah. I would love to see other players yeah. give insight as well, yeah. man. We. You know, so we just, you yeah. know, this is CJ McCollum right now. On ESPN. <laughs> everybody got podcasts these yeah, days. Got so. podcasts, bro. PG, you know, yeah. everybody, but you know, yeah. it's all love, man. You know, okay, yeah. finals. SM, SM versus PJ. PJ. Battle of Jakarta. You know, Lakers versus Clippers. Yeah, it's <clears throat> it's hard to see Justin Brownlee lose in the IBL. He's a he's a winner. He's a winner, bro. You know, proven yeah. pedigree. So let's see the matchups. Let's see the matchups. Uh, it's gonna Dickie be again versus Artem. We saw how that first last, ma- yeah that matchup last weekend, went. and then it's gonna be Cook Cove versus Bradley or KJ. Okay, KJ. And Ooh, then Ray Cook, wait, get Cook Bean. versus KJ. More I do. I yeah. think. Yeah. And then you got Bean guarding Ronaldo. <laughs> I think. I think SM took the last dub at the wrong timing because. You saw that layup though? Yeah, the lay. Yeah, I seen it, you know, but you know, it's something about winning. It's like, it's crazy because a team, you could sweep a team in the regular season yeah. and then come playoffs. That like was a different. It's beast. different. Different beast. So I think, I think PJ has a bad taste in their mouth from how the last game went and they're going to come out and just hit on all cylinders you know but it's not going to be a a blowout it's not going to be a blowout Uh, both teams are are just too good for that to happen um but i think i think pj will take the first game i think sm might get sm will get a win i believe so so i think it's going to go to three but i think pj will take it two one pj two one pj (sighs) i think i gotta Say it depends on how good Dame. You know Dame, right? Dame Diagne, number two. The guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Kid. SM. Yeah. SM. I think it's gonna depend on how good he's playing. Lately, yeah. he's been playing well. He's been making better decisions. Right. On the court, and it depends on Abraham. I think the imports. Yeah. I think the imports gonna cross out each other. Right. You know, I think it's gonna be uh, even. It's gonna go to the local and yeah. the heritage player. You know? No, that's a great point, Rock. Yeah. I think, um, you know, his progress has been great yeah. to see, though. You know, Dang has progressed each year. Uh, I remember preparing, preparing for the SEA Games yeah. that, that year. Um, just seeing that growth. Um, yeah, it was definitely X Factor. And Abram, if he can um, put up his average of 14 or more a game, I think um, will be very helpful. But um, it's going to be it's gonna be a dog fight. It's got to be a dog fight. It's going to be a dog fight. So, uh so yeah, I'm excited to see how, how this turns out, man. You got PJ, I got SM. E- so we got different picks. <laughs> we got different pick. I got SM 2-1. I love it. I love oh, it. Battle with Jakarta. Yeah, Battle with Jakarta. It's Jakarta gonna be lit. Dirty. The game's gonna be lit. It's gonna be all sold out. I sold believe. out. I, I think believe. so too. Yeah. Woo. That's crazy. And PJ gonna play in a very nice stadium. Yeah. For the finals. <laughs> It's gonna be one of the best season ever, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I believe so. It's just the next level year, of talent. Next year is gonna be crazy. Right? Next year, next year is gonna be, be crazier. 
Let's see what happens, Let's man. Go. You never know. <laughs> man, a lot of great players yeah. coming in the league. The league is, is strengthening yeah. every day. You know, the culture is strengthening. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. Sharif O'Neal, Zyre Way, Ronnie James. <laughs> we ready for y'all, man. We Stay ready for <laughs> Hey man, come on, come, come on, on now. now, check come it on out. Now, I mean, uh, <laughs> this is one of the biggest. Probably, I go has one of the biggest fans, fan base, probably for in, sure in Asia. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Indonesia is they love basketball. You guys love basketball, Mike? so <laughs> <laughs> you okay with everything, right? Hey, don't hate my boy, bro. <laughs> Hey man, it's all love. I gotta keep it real. I appreciate you no more doing this. Right before we leave. Yes, sir. Right enough for the culture, bro. You've been saying that. Oh, so I got you give, appreciate you, know? you Rock. Yeah. For the culture. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Rock. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate you, man. Hope you had fun though. Man, this I did. Podcast, I know? did. Thank you for having me, man. For sure, man. Y'all Thank tap you. in, man. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> peace. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. You know, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And Mike, hopefully, you're gonna see you again next season, bro. Man, hopefully, yeah. let's see. Let's see. And let's guys, see. hopefully, you guys are gonna enjoy the ideal playoff. You know, it's gonna be fun. So, better tune in. And we'll see you guys again next video. Peace out, everybody. Peace out.